Hey guys, Isaac here, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing my final review for the Captain America's trilogy to celebrate the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Um, the um, series just ended, and my review will be coming very soon. But here first is my review of the final Captain America movie. Well, there is a rumored fourth one. Captain America, Civil War. Now, this movie was great. My favourite MCU movie, definitely. Um, it's well written, it's well acted, well directed, well edited, well... Mostly everything. Most everything's done well. Um, I loved everything with Steve and Bucky and Tony. The dynamic there was really good. Um, also T'Challa, his kind of dynamic with Bucky was handled well. Um, but... Um, yeah, the Zemo was quite a good villain. I quite liked, and he had pretty pretty understandable motivations, good motivations. Um, the side characters, like the extra heroes that aren't Tony and Steve and Bucky, are all incorporated very well to the story. Um, like Scarlet Witch and Black Widow all incorporated really well. Um, and the new characters did not feel out of place at all. They felt really... They felt like they had just been there. It was really good, really well handled um, with Spider-Man and Black Panther. Um, but I'm just going to kind of go to something that I didn't really like about Spider-Man. Now, I liked Spider-Man in this. Tom Holland was giving a good performance. Um, and it was well written for the most part. Um, but, hold on. But, um, the suit is my issue. No, this has been said a thousand times before, but I won't, I just feel like I should say it. They gave him a fully CGI suit, and that's abs that's terrible. You never, never should do that. Because it kind of reminded me of the Spider-Man the new, new Animated Series um, animation, which is not. That animation isn't bad, but if your live-action Spider-Man CGI reminds me of one of the cartoons from over from like 13 years before this movie came out you're doing something wrong um but it just looked like the cartoon spider-man was fighting alongside real avengers even iron man his suit was fully cgi as well so that's just disappointing and i know it it was probably quite rushed um but the suit is well designed for the most part i would have preferred they did stick with the unused suit it gave off a lot more comic-y vibes, but they changed it, and well, we, we got what we got. Um, but aside from that, um, the relationship between uh, Steve Rogers and Sharon Carter was just weird. I don't know. I don't know why they did that. It was just weird. Um, and yeah. Also, Tony Stark is kind of a terrible person. I don't mean in the fact that he is like doing a lot of terrible things in the movie. I mean in this one scene. Now I'm a pretty big Spider-Man fan, but even if I wasn't, I would have an issue with this. Tony Stark manipulates, um, kind of lies to, in a way he and does. Yeah, he kind of bribes and threatens. Not really threatens, but like threatens to tell his aunt May that he's Spider-Man. He he essentially like manipulates a 15-year-old. Like a 15 year old kid who's like going through grief and stuff and like like guilt from the death of uncle ben just recently in the events of this he just manipulates him into fighting captain america and that's just like no matter how desperate tony is that's just like a terrible thing to do to like to like a kid his age but yeah overall i really aside from the few nitpicks i had and my few character issues and issues with the CGI. Pretty much everything else in this movie was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to give Captain America Civil War a score of 92%. Definitely the best MCU movie. Nothing else comes close except maybe The Winter Soldier, maybe Infinity War. Not talking about the TV shows because WandaVision is my second favourite MCU thing. And you'll have to figure out where Falcon and Winter Soldier lands on my list soon. See you later.